All right, on to Mekon. Oh, you're in here, Cheeky? That's cool. On to Mekon's cabin we go. Oh, is that a fucking pineapple? What the fuck? All right. Mekon's cabin. We're on our way. On our way to find out who... Did I just say Mekon? I mean, not Mekon. Oh, uh, what the fuck is her name? Mahiru. Uh, fast travel. Let me check on this pet. I hope this pet didn't die yet. Are you dead? No? You're fine? All right, just checking on you. Weird-ass snake thing. I'm gonna head to Miharu's cabin. Miharu, Mahiru, whatever the fuck you wanna call her. This is it, right? The hotel site. There we go. Well, I'm in front of the hotel. Alright. Let us let us make salad. No. Let us go and check out her cabin. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Fee Hiko probably has the uh Probably has the ending prize because he had that fucking folder. That folder of secrets. Is her fucking. Her cabin's all the way at the end over here? Wow, she's the only redhead. I just realized that. The door looks unlocked. <laughs> moving after your toe. Wait, moving after your toe would be third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. Ah, I guess I should go inside then. Compared to my room, the cottage is somewhat pleasant. Smell wafting through the room. Wait, what the fuck? That's weird. That's the weirdest thing to say. Hmm. Her shit smells nice, dude. That proves Mahiru was here. But she's not coming back. Because she got, she got thug-styled. Why is there Monokuma just hiding? Why is, what is that? You guys see that, right? That's weird. Then I should try to look for a naughty book. Wait, what? Why? Yep. Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? See? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out the thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Oh, shit, it's the file. By the way, what the hell is this? Oh, it's just a hidden Monokuma. What the fuck? Alright. That's... I thought that was like the real Monokuma for a second. Can I look at her her pictures? These photos, Mahira must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Even in this situation, there are lots of photos of smiling people. Is this because of her personality? Probably. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Then pick it up. Could it be? This might be the ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat the game. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope, and what came falling out was a few photos. Ah, this photo. Uh, what the fuck? Is... Oh, no. Oh, no. We're having a repeat of the first game. Oh, no. This is bad. A photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hayako in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like the game. There was a similar scenario in the first day at Twilight True Edition. B girl B was in a bad mood because girl A was late, and girl D tried to cheer her up by taking a picture. Is this the photo she took? Entrance hall photo has been added to the truth bullet. That's cool. Look at this photo too. A broken vase? 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 Hmm. Whatever. Is that the same photo that girl D showed girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. Alright. But still. Uh Maybe that flower has some what of an importance. May have triggered some memory remembering shit and somebody did murders. But this photo is more shocking. As Shiki showed me the photo, I was stunned to silence. Oh what the f wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just had a revelation. I just had a revelation. Oh god. For those of you who don't know what my revelation is, guess what? Ha ha ha. Go check out the Danganronpa V3 playthrough. 
Go check that shit out. Oh my god, no! This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano be- Oh no! <laughs> Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's a music room, if that's the case. Could this be the photo of the first victim? I mean, it's the victim of the murder that occurred in day one. Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on the pervert. Oh. Oh no. That's a bad photo. That's a bad photo. Mm. That's a really bad photo. I'm not gonna say why. Anyways, and one more. This is the last photo. Who the hell is that? This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches the body in the game. See? Yeah, there's no mistake. This is the proof of girl E. Uh, with that, we finish looking at all the photos. So, based on all these photos, yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight, and what's depicted in these photos proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean the stuff about the memory is being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what all you did to my sister. <gasps> I think... <clears throat> I think I know who the murderer is. Oh no! I think I know who the murderer is. I think I may know who the murderer is. Well, talk then. Okay, I'm gonna fess up. I'm gonna fess up a little thing. I'm gonna fess up a little thing, right? So, I played the first hour of Danganronpa Killing Harmony. Because I was like, hey man, I gotta put that out. The game came out, right? And I met some characters. Characters I don't know shit about. And I don't know nothing about this game either. Oh my god. Mmm. Okay. Oh god, this is a uh, wow. Time out. Maybe the first person that beat the game and received the ending prize wasn't Mahiru. Someone else sent it to Mahiru, and that person is the only one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured by Nagito, she also received this envelope. And that's why she played the game, right? Then the person who played this game first. This envelope looks familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Yep. Hey, hey. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did that, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. Alright, there's a part of me. I think I may know who the murderer is. But at the same time, the person I think it is, is probably not the murderer. So, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm starting not to trust anybody now. Cheeky, I'm looking at you. You can be a murderer. Oh, god damn it, you scare me. Hajime, Cheeky, what a coincidence. If something happened twice, third time, there's a charm, they say. What the fuck? What coincidence? Are you stalking me or something? Now, now. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. I was joking. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did... Did you find out who footprints they were? <laughs> if you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course, you'll come with me, right? I don't trust them as far as I can throw them, but if I can get a clue... What are you gonna do, Cheeky? Mm. I'm gonna try to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So, I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tries to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. 
I guess this is where we part. See you later, Hajime. Huh. Huh, did you actually want her to stay? Actually? What do you mean? Let's go. I'll go ahead to the beach house and wait there. You're a weird one. You're a really weird one, Komaere. Uh, I pressed the wrong buttons. Wrong buttons are being pushed around. You know, I haven't seen Gundam in a while, or Nekamaru. I wonder what the fuck they're doing. Alright, uh... Where are we heading again? Second Island? Yeah. Second Island. Heading to that beach house. Oh, speak of the fucking devil, what's up, dude? So you have I was right, huh? I already assumed you would come here. There's nothing you can hide from me. The Supreme Overlord who wields the four dark days of destruction. Thus I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends. We're preoccupied with your influential beach play. What? Nature. The fuck? It matters not for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's, that's precisely it. I see, he wanted to be invited too. I'm sorry Gundam, sorry bro. Sorry broskies, bro man, bro guy. Fucking, but you're kinda weird Gundam. I don't I don't think nobody would wanna hang out with you. Alright, let's see what a uh, Komaede is cooking up over here. What do you want, you fucking, aw oh, man, you're just, you're full of evil. Anyways, let's try going inside. Sure, let's head inside. Oh, you're all still here. Nagito! Whoa, why the hell are you here? Hello Why, hello there, Kazuchi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to talk away... Wait, what? I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think, like, an ultimate. Wow, okay. Oh, this bastard. You two have arrived at good time. Big news, I discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um, not only that. I believe it's nothing like Sonya, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikan? <laughs> yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching a boiling point. Okay, we'll film me in, Sonya. You kinda ran to the library. Big news. Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's so big about the news? See? Remember the Sun Witch, Esper Ito? Mask that was next to Mahiru's body? Oh, the mask of the killer used to hide their face? No, it's not. That's not correct. That mask is not just used to hide their face. The one it's for. Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professioned ally of justice who names make mankind shudder. What the fuck? They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. That is an order. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. This sparkling justice character, that's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? Is it true that the mask we found is a hero mask? But it it is a heroin mask to be precise. Sun Witch Esper Ito is pretty witch girl. Wow, I see. A heroin. Anyway. Anyways, so you're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru. Which means there's a serial killer hiding amongst us. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like that in some video game. Oh, fuck you, Nagito. Really, dude? Ah, this is stupid. Serial killer my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. I mean, I think I said that earlier, right? Where, I don't know if I said that in the last part or anything like that, but I was like, I was like, I don't think the mask was used to hide their face. It was used more as a calling card. But, sure. Because there's no reason to hide their face. Like, the fuck? There's only, like, not even 16 of us here. There's less than that. There's, how many, 14 of us? Well, now, 13? Anyways. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... Although it's easy to write off as foolish, it looks... It might be the best way to exercise some caution. Sonya, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask... I expose the hearts of malevolent evil! The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! What the hell was that? Well? 
uh, that that sparkling justice catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in the magazine at the library. There has only been ever one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However, However in the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice too. No, no good came from getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want her that- wait, what? Might not want to hear that from you. Oh, <laughs> uh, talking shit to Nagito, I love it. Uh, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, ma making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that the kind of stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen. No, it doesn't mean that they're in our group. It's possible that the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. Wow. That's probably not possible. I... But that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think of it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh, There's one of us is that one of us is capable of such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonya, I, I understand your feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Unless we all just turn around and look at Nagito, because he's a fucking piece of shit. Alright, Mikan, I assume you did an autopsy. Mikan, you have something to say too, right? Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please, don't get your hopes up. And be disappointed. I get it. So just get on with it. Huh? I tried my best to perform an autopsy and I was able to find out... Mahiri was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every... Every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Uh, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Then somebody moved her body. So I was right. Cause, cause the idea, like, the idea to me of her, like, crawling on the floor and then just pressing up against the door without screaming for some sort of help, it's, it's ludicrous to me. So her death was instant, and somebody moved the body to block the door. Probably for an easier escape route, to be honest. Because... Wait, is the window facing on the same way as the door? Because maybe that's why. Because if someone were to come in through that door, and more people were to come into that door, it would be harder to escape through the window. So I think that could make sense, probably. Uh, sounds a little strange. I think I better remember that. So it was an instant kill. And there's another thing that I found. Uh, I'm sorry, I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Nah, just tell me. Um, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiro's pocket. What? I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30. It seems there's someone who wants to infer with our meeting. Oh, not infer. Interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. So that's probably why Hayako ran away. And someone's trying to pin the murder on Hayako. But I don't... Hmm. There are two possible suspects now. Well, there's three. Fuyihiko is definitely one of them. I have a feeling that Fuyihiko might have a sister. And I might know who the sister is. Play Rump of V3 if you want to find out. No. Because uh, <laughs> that person looks really familiar. I don't know much about Rump of V3, but I know some of the characters. Um, most likely one of the characters. Anyways. So, we have Fuyihiko, and now there's Ibuki, and another prime suspect is sadly Mikan. So... I don't think that Fuyihiko or Hayako could have possibly done it. This letter. If this letter is real, it would mean Hayako met up with Mihiro, right? Plus, Mihiro estimated time of death was around uh, 3 o'clock. That they might have met 30 minutes prior. If we think about it, what's the impulse then? 
what well what's the impulse what what that implies is that <laughs> i'm starting to get confused if this is true what does it mean what happened between my hero and uh, my hero and fucking hayaka so those two probably remembered after playing the game i assume they both must have played the game okay nagito you got something to say Hey, tell me what you know already. Did you find out whose footprints they were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Oh, wow. Good job, Komaede. Everyone's cottages? I told Monokuma I need access to the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard, he did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come here, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went through the trouble of gather- He tucked everyone's shoes. Oh, you fucking sneaky bastard. He traced everyone's shoes. You fucking piece of shit. Are those footprints? I see, so the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was- yep. That's right, I want to simply sample- I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belongs to this person. Whose footprints are there, Hayaka? Yep. Hayaka, yeah, there you go. Hayaka's. Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside the cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So, I figured if I lured her out, she would be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. But it was totally worth it. The footprints I collected, they were smaller than anyone else's and matches the footprints in the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake, these are Hayako's footprints. Yeah, but I assume... I assume Hayako ran away after seeing that Mahiru was dead. Also, it's not like I was... I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting in her cottage. Something interesting. I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's... They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been another gummy... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only bought home a bunch of these. <laughs> People are who like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. Alright, so what did he say? He said watermelon, grape, orange, and something else, but I don't remember. Uh, the gummy that we found, if I remember correctly, it was yellow. So I think someone is really trying their best to pin this crime on her, and she probably didn't do it. At the same merit, Fuyuhigo probably didn't do it either. Well, it's not clear if this is related to the incident, but I just thought I'd tell you. Just in case, coming from this guy, that means it's probably greatly relates to this incident. It, it's a good in, good info. Good job. Going back has been added to the truth section. Oh, damn it. It's time, isn't it? The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. Come! Now is the time to fight the decisive battle! The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Alright, you bastard. Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and killer's hopes are finally clashing. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win the end. Alright. Now then, let's go prove it. Uh, why is he so excited about... Why is he so excited about... What is he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyways, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting. I have to make my case there. There is no escape. Okay, thanks for the random voice line. There's no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked amongst ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body. 
Damn. All right. We are on the second island? Wait, no, I think we're not. I think we're just on... Yeah, okay. It's cool. So we can just head straight to, uh, to the rock. So where the fuck has Nekamoru been the whole time? And Akane. Well, I mean, we saw Akane earlier. But those two kind of just disappeared. <laughs> no, let me go! Help me! Daskte. He's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little low lead. <laughs> That's nice. Stop it! Hey, stop harassing little girls. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Hayako was trying to run away, but Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hayako is still trying to run away, so Monokuma is trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. <laughs> what the fuck? It. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you part of the island food chain. <laughs> Aww. Jeez, making me waste my sweet ass time. Is that the first time Monokuma literally just swore? Huh, that's cool. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the hell is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he's totally ditched. He's totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? His anger changed his form. I'm right here. <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice. Huh? What the fuck happened? Oh, wow, Monokuma, that's... That's new. What the fuck, man? Eh, hey, Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. <laughs> There's nowhere for me to run anyways, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still... I'm Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fihiko, what does that mean? Hmm. Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway. Anyways, looks like everyone's here, so let's depart for now. I'll go first and be the one step step ahead of you guys. Blah blah blah. blah. Crap, I'm really not mentally prepared yet. Like, Do you even have to prepare? Show some if you don't have enough power, harness your. Wait, what? Your lactin? What? What the fuck? Come on, bring out the energy. You mean like the lactate in your muscles and shit? Is that what you're talking about? Too so it begins. The beginning of the end. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find the shining hope. Shut the fuck up. That's right. I can only move forward is the only option. Alright, let's get ready for this class trial. No matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. Manomi, why are you still here? Somehow I move my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves. And wait, what? Stiff from fear and nerves? What the fuck? Okay. And awkwardly walked onto the escalator. Hmm. Shouldn't the word be nervousness? But anyways. For some reason, my breathing was short. And I was eventually struck by fear, similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock. A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. As I shook with the clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout the drop, I was frantically- wait what? I was what? Frustrating between feelings of hope and despair? Frustrating? Why am I saying- Fluctuating! That's the word. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. As if my heart was rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. And then I dropped dead. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator vibration gradually weakened. And then, it stopped altogether. Aim. Defeat the boring routine. So, so I decided to start re <laughs> what the fuck redecorating how how it looks. Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible. It's not like I allowed you to think otherwise, anyways. That is. To go through the trouble of doing something this elaborate, really? What is your true intention? No, no. 
nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyways. Kill time? Yeah! To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Lie. A purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have prepared, uh, prepared, those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap ass purposes like trying to survive. <laughs> and enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mihiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking pe care of people. I was about to say she was actually very good at taking pictures. <laughs> Most importantly, she was always straightforward. What the fuck just happened? Somebody just like dropped something. That was weird. It echoed all the way here. I don't know why. The person that killed her. Damn, Tori, you're dead as fuck. It's amongst us. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. But... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial, billing with hope and despair, has begun. <laughs>